Hi my friends, back on the uh, white freight liner here. Uh, I've just been attaching the doors. I think in the last video I was fussing about with the weathering of the hinges and the, the hardware and now I've fit these doors both sides uh, and clearance the uh, interior. It's not in there at the moment. It's over there. Clearance the interior for this hardware and made any adjustments I needed to. So next is putting some tape on these doors while they're here so I can line up the red lines exactly. So I'm gonna tape the bottom and take this hardware out and do the top and then I'll know my red stripes match up with the stripes on the, the cab and then, um, then we'll go about doing the sign riding in the middle. Right, let's get at this. Okay guys, so you'll see I've got it masked off now to so the red stripe should match. Um, just looking at it, I've realised I need to change this bottom strip, strip the way I've done this a bit, but I'll do that later. And it'll, it'll become clear. But anyway, sign writing on the doors brings me to this thing here. It's called a Cricut Explorer 2 Smart Cutting Machine. I was put on to this by one of my subscribers after the videos I was doing about the um, stencil, stencils I was cutting out by hand for the um, dual tanker. Out of the box, hooked up to the laptop. Um, this machine looks a bit girly in that it's all soft curves and pastel colours and those sorts of things, but you know sewing machine uh, sewing room type styles but this is a stout little machine it looks kind of like a printer but it's not it's probably twice if not three times heavier than a printer of this size so it's um it's all rigid in here for the the cutting head and all that sort of thing righto so the software is called um the Cricut design space and you know it's pretty much the add water and stir when it comes to these uh, WYSIWYG uh, editors for vector graphics and those sorts of things so um, I'm not going to tell you how to use it because I'm still getting used to it myself and I would lead you astray but I've got my logo I want to put in the um, in the red part of the stripe of that door you know that so I've got the square here, which is the actual physical dimensions of this patch here. So now I'm just going to resize that, poke it in the square, you know, put it at zero, and uh, then delete the square because I don't need that. I'm just using that for um, getting this dimensions correct before I cut it. And there's another piece I need to cut to go at the bottom here with the weight. Uh, I'll do that without filming any of that. I'll just quickly get this done, and when I'm about to hit go on the, the cutter, I'll get the camera going again. Right, so I've got my design pretty much set up the way I want it and I've got the vinyl, stencil vinyl on the mat here. It's a kind of sticky mat. This one's covered in here because I dropped it on the floor as you do when you're trying not to. So you just place that in there. Okay. I'll put that over there, I don't want to drop it on the floor again. So, and I'm doing it all with one hand and holding the camera. So what I'll do is press the magic button there. Mm. Yep. And continue. Uh, did I turn it on? Right. 
helps if you turn it on, apparently. Should have read the manual, eh? That's what you get. Right, uh, what's it say? Set the material, load the material. Okay, let's try this. Um, put that there like this. Okay. Just press that down again, it's come up a bit. So that it's loaded, and then you just push the go button. And that's it, really. It's quite fast. There you go. The light's flashing again, telling me to um, spit this out. So I'll just put my knee under here so it doesn't fall on the floor again. That's it, done. Not sure if you can see it in the light. No, you can't, can you? See that? There you go. So it's cut out what I want. So the next part is weeding it out. So the, the weeding it out is just pretty much weeding out the material you don't want and keeping the stuff you do before you put the transfer tape onto the stencil here. Yeah, and you've got to make sure you weed out the correct one. When you spray painting stencils, it's the reverse, you know. So you get these little bits and bobs here. I use the tweezers and this, this pick here those things there I've used the most so I'm gonna uh, weed that so I'm just doing a quick test layout of the um, what I've cut here on the door and this one that I was going to put down here I've cut I've um, done that the wrong size it's too large so I'll flip this over and recut that one up here I'll just do that off camera so yeah Messed up my measurements, still learning the software and the machine. But uh, yeah, getting there, learning. It's good fun. So yeah, I'll get at that.
the door is pretty much done there as far as the painting of the uh, red stripe and uh, signage is concerned it's pretty good it's a wee bit um, freshly painted looking for my liking so I'm gonna have to weather it scratch it and um, mess with it generally um, put it on here you'll be able to see it's a wee bit too too clean so yeah uh, I'll just uh, scuff it up a wee bit where they're at and reattach it and then I think we'll have a look at it on the um, chassis eh? see how it looks there it is guys doors on mocked up on the uh, bodies mocked up on the chassis again it's all good um, I chose the sign right in there scrap metal because this truck is made from scrap metal it's suggested by one of my subscribers once to call it scrap metal and I thought it was a good idea so this is a um, junkers truck here a recyclers truck yeah that's why I did that it's looking good and the other side's done also oh dear oh no what is this mess mm, how's the OCD going symmetry freaks <coughs> Shut up! Shut up and take the pain! Take the pain! Yeah. This side here is um, a little bit of a tip of the hat to the consolidated freightways and freight liners, early history, if you know that stuff. Uh, this door or this truck was modelled off of consolidated freightways uh, photos. So I made it look like um, the door had to be replaced and the scrap metal man just threw a stencil on there and got back on the road zero fucks given even the hardwares aren't put in the right place but yep that's the look it's, I'm going for same with the uh, rim down here rusty green it's probably I don't know if the light's showing it very well there so um, I'll show you how I did that to a plastic rim in another video when I do these ones because they've got to be weathered as well. I do need to weather the um, hardware of course and cover that up. It's to be done yet. It's a work in progress. But it's looking pretty shitty which is exactly what I was looking for and I'm happy with it. And I'm really happy with that um, little Cricut ear vinyl cutting machine too. I, I'd recommend it. It's actually really good. Really cool. So yeah. Cheers for watching guys and um, yeah we'll catch you on the next one. Should be up to uh, what? Um, putting the stack on the back I think. It might be the next video and then I'll put the um, bumper on. Alright, catch us in the next one. See you later. Uh -huh.